Welcome to today's 30 minute deep hip stretches yin yoga class. Today we will be performing a variety of seated asanas to help us release stagnant emotions and tension that have built up around this region of the body. We'll be holding postures today for about two to five minutes. So if you know that you could benefit from any props, go ahead and grab those. And when you're ready, join me in a comfortable seated position. Lengthen the spinal column. Close the eyes. Soften the shoulders. and take an inventory of how you are feeling right now. Noticing if there are any emotions lingering within the body. Perhaps there is some internal dialogue. Simply observing Inviting a loving compassion into your experience. From here we'll begin to gently circle the shoulders. Mobilize in the upper back. And you might like to swap the direction of your circles. On your next inhalation, raising the arms skyward, stretching the torso. Exhale, bend over to the left. Reach your right arm overhead, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend over to the right. From here, let's transition into a tabletop position, coming onto all fours. And we'll find a traditional cat and cow to help us wake up the body. Inhale, arch the back, gaze up. Exhale, curl and round, press into the palms, chin to chest. A few more times. Finding your cadence. Let's go for one more round. Returning your spine to a neutral alignment. Tenting up onto the fingertips. Guide your right foot towards the outer edge of your right hand. Preparing for our first yin yoga posture, dragon pose or lizard pose in Hatha yoga. If it's in your practice, you might like to lower down onto your forearms. And if you have the mobility, perhaps rolling onto the blade edge of your right foot as you externally rotate your right hip, opening the right knee out to the side. Whatever variation you assume, try to keep your knee pointing in the same direction as your toes. If you have a tendency to grip the mat, it might be helpful to turn your palms to face skywards. This will help you soften the palms, the fingers, relax the back of the neck, maybe close the eyes, and begin to settle in. Noticing the sensations around the groin, the outer hips. Giving yourself permission to surrender. Using the breath to help you stay grounded in the here and now.
gifting yourself one more mindful breath in dragon posture. If you're on your forearms, re-extending your arms, returning to a tabletop position and it might feel nice to circle the hips towards the heels and the shoulders over the wrists. Moving in any way that feels nourishing. And when you're ready, let's prepare for dragon pose on the other side. This time, left foot towards the outer edge of your left hand. And deciding if you'd like to stay upright or lower down. If you've got accessories, know that you could always rest your forearms on blocks. Reminding yourself that it's perfectly natural if you have one hemisphere of the body that feels slightly more open than the other. This is an invitation to invite a loving compassion into these sensitive regions. Breathe in and breathe out as you exhale away all tension. Mindfully guiding your awareness towards the body, towards the breath. When you feel ready, gently easing your way out of the posture and taking any dynamic movement here if that's what feels right for you. Listen to your body. Reminding yourself that there is no right or wrong here. Now let's prepare for our next yin yoga posture, child's pose. Joining the big toes together. Widening the knees as much as you like. Ensuring that you have enough space to rest your belly, the rib cage, the chest comfortably between your legs. 
relaxing your forehead on the mat and maybe stretching your arms out in front softening the glutes relaxing the outer hips breathing into this moment Well done. On your next inhalation, pressing into the palms, rising into a tabletop. Maybe taking a few rounds of cat and cow. For our next posture, we will be coming into sleeping swan. If you'd like to start in a down dog, you can join me by raising the hips and extending the legs, maybe pedaling out the dog. But if you'd prefer to enter this posture from tabletop, you can do that as well. We'll start with our right leg in front, guiding the right knee towards the right wrist and the right ankle towards the left wrist. The left leg is pointed behind you, aligning the hip, the knee and the ankle. Option to stay upright or hinge forwards, finding length before you find depth. You might like to use your palms, your hands as a pillow to rest your forehead atop of. If possible, keeping the right foot flexed. This will help us protect the joints around the knee. Noticing the sensations around the right glute, the right hip. This can be a really challenging posture for some of us, so give yourself the time and space that you need to ease in. We'll be in this posture for about four minutes. Allow yourself to soften and breathe.
taking one more loving breath in this sleeping swan. Using the support of your palms to help you elevate the torso and either transitioning into down dog or tabletop position, taking any movement between sides, mobilizing the outer hips, and on your next inhalation, let's guide our left knee towards the left wrist, left ankle towards right wrist. Doing your best to square off the hips. And in your own time, melting forwards. Settling in. If ever the mind begins to wander, simply guiding your attention to the sensations of this posture to the breath and if ever that feels like too much perhaps you might like to recite an affirmation or an empowering mantra
gifting yourself one more breath in this sleeping swan posture. We'll return to our final down dog for today. Or you can return to tabletop pose. From here, we'll all transition into a seated position, lowering the glutes down onto the mat, extending the legs out in front as we prepare for butterfly pose, externally rotating the hips, flexing the knees. You can decide the intensity of this stretch. The closer you guide your heels towards the pubic mound, the more intense you'll feel this in the outer hips. If you'd like to deepen your stretch, walking the fingertips out in front as you begin to lower your chest towards the earth. Allowing the back to round and allowing yourself to surrender. Recognizing that you are safe, you are supported, and you are loved. I invite you to rest here in butterfly pose for as long as you like. You can close the practice here. Or when you're ready, mindfully elevating the torso. And it could feel nice to windshield wiper the legs. 
sliding the knees, the hips from one side to the other. And when you're ready, coming into a comfortable seated position, closing the eyes and creating some gentle half circles with the head and the neck, releasing the upper back softening the facial features. Let's go for one more round in each direction. Returning your head to a neutral alignment. Placing one palm on the belly and the other on the heart space. Reconnecting to the breath, feeling the body, feeling the power and positivity that is coursing through you and this very moment. On your next inhalation, raise the arms skywards, exhale, join the palms together at heart center. Thank you so much for joining today's practice. May you be well. May you experience true peace and joy. Namaste.